What is the best way to keep a sealed Pokemon TCG collection for the newest, hottest set, Brilliant Stars? Let's talk about it. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, TCG Funhouse, where we talk all things Pokemon TCG at least three times per week here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you guys slap that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of our Pokemon investment conversations. Brilliant Stars. It is such a phenomenal set. It has been my favorite set so far in the Sword and Shield era, just kind of squeaking out Evolving Skies by just a tad, but Brilliant Stars just feels so good to open up and has the amazing pack arts of Arceus and Charizard, and it's just an amazing set through and through. And one of the hottest things to do in today's day and age is have a sealed collection. That's right, this may have not been very popular five, six, seven, or even 20 years ago, but right now, it is one of the most popular things to do. So, the question then is, what should I be collecting or adding to my sealed collection to make sure that it grows in value over time the way that I want or expect my Pokemon collection to do? So with that being said, today I'm going to give you guys five sealed products that I think are must-haves for Brilliant Stars for any sealed collection. And starting off today's list is the Build and Battle Stadiums. This is a sort of a new product for the Pokemon TCG. It came out first with, I believe, Evolving Skies, and then we got a stadium for Fusion Strike and now Brilliant Stars. There will also be one coming for Astral Radiance. It's a very unique box, very unique package, which actually, in my opinion, deserves to get a lot more love than it does. Everybody talks about the ETBs and Elite Trainer Boxes, the, the value that's inside of these build and battle stadiums is actually significantly more than what you get in the ETB. You get four additional packs, so you only get eight packs in the ETB, 12 packs come in the build and battle stadium, and then you get the two build and battle kits inside as well that have the stamped promo cards inside, which in my opinion are usually pretty undervalued promo cards like the little uh, Brilliant Stars logo stamp on the card. There's such phenomenal cards, and this has Lucario and a Moltres inside, uh, which will likely increase in value over time better than some other stamped holographics. Um, and then four additional packs as well, to where in an ETB, you just get eight packs and then some sleeves and uh, you know a guide and some dice and stuff like that. The value inside these is much better. Now, it does carry an MSRP price tag of $59.99, compared to $40 for the ETB. But right now in the third party market, these build and battle stadiums are way down in price right now. You can get them consistently over on TCG player for 45 to $46. So you're looking at only five or six more dollars than a Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Box and you're getting four additional packs. Not only that, the ETBs are something that is significantly printed more than a build and battle stadium, which means down the road, 10, 15 years from now, when people start pulling out their sealed collections to sell, there's going to be significantly less build and battle stadiums available than there will be elite trainer boxes. So right now, starting off the list, that's why the build and the battle stadiums are here. And next on the list is usually something I don't like adding to sealed collections. I mean, you see a bunch back here to where I try to get like one of each, and that is like collection boxes. So coming in at number four is the Arceus V figure box that is literally hitting the shelves like as we speak. They're either out uh, last Friday or this Friday. I can't really remember. If you know in the comment section, leave that down below. Um, it's just one of your standard collection boxes that retails at $24.99. But what makes this special is it has a Cosmic Eclipse pack inside, which is an extraordinarily rare pack. We're seeing them more and more with the Mini 10s and the Pokeballs that are just releasing. But Cosmic Eclipse only had that one print run um, back before they decided to move forward with the Sword and Shield era. It was the last set printed for Sun and Moon. So there's significantly less Cosmic Eclipse out there than uh, other sets uh, towards the sun moon uh, era and stuff like that in early sword and shield so getting these boxes with that cosmic eclipse pack inside 
I don't want to say it pays for itself, but like a market price on a Cosmic Eclipse pack, third party, is already like $15, $16, $17, $18 dollars as opposed to, you know, like a standard Brilliant Stars might be five bucks, you know. Um, so when you're adding those like rare older sets like Cosmic Eclipse in a box, that just means the world down the road. You're going to have one pack inside that is probably going to be worth like the price of the box down the road, like 10 years from now. Um, and the figure boxes always do a little bit better than other boxes. I don't know why. I think people may just enjoy the figures a little bit more than, let's say, maybe a jumbo promo card or whatever else they might put in side of these collection boxes. Um, like, go back and look at some of the XY figure boxes. They're significantly more expensive than the other types of boxes. And I think that's because they may print less. So, like, if you think about printing... It is much easier for the Pokemon company to print more Jumbo V or Jumbo V Max cards than they are to print entire little figurines on a conveyor belt. It is significantly more affordable um, to do the Jumbo card route. So usually when these figure boxes come out, there's only like one wave of them. Don't expect a second and third wave of Arceus V figure boxes like you might get with the Pikachu V box or the Bolton V box, which doesn't have that expensive to make figure inside. So when you couple that together with the figure and the Cosmic Eclipse pack, this Arceus V box, in my opinion, is one of the best products that you can find that's going to be a staple of Brilliant Stars. All right, coming in at the halfway point here at number three on the list of top five products you want for a Brilliant Stars sealed collection, we're going with the old trusty booster box. Just your standard 36-pack booster box, no fancy dancies inside, no figures, no jumbos, no top whatever, you know. It's just 36 packs of a factory sealed booster box. It's, you know, the reason why it's here is it just has the most packs inside available. So no other product offers the same amount of packs inside, which is what you want when you're reselling in the future, 10, 15, 20 years, you want packs. People are gonna want packs. They want the chance to pull that rainbow Charizard or that Charizard V alternate art. So packs are where it is at. And this has 36 of them. Over on TCG Player right now, third-party market price, they're actually going up in price significantly because distributors are starting to have less and less of them. So they're going for about 145 to 150. Um, we are going to get another wave of Brilliant Stars booster boxes. So you might want to hold off just a little bit before pulling, pulling the trigger. I can see them coming back down to like the 120 area, 115 area um, before they leave completely and they will go up. And I'm telling you guys, Brilliant Stars is going to be a set that goes up. I usually, uh, pair it with like a cosmic eclipse right when you look and see what happened to cosmic eclipse that is kind of the trajectory i'm looking for here with brilliant stars considering it's anchored by a couple of amazing charizard cards um and it's going to be a very very hot set and of course the old trusty booster box uh, it's not higher on the list it's not number one simply because a lot of people are going to have booster boxes stored away it's not a rare item at all um so that's why it's only here at number three if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I love exclusive products. Exclusivity, I think, is very, very important, especially with sealed product, which is why here at number two in the runner-up position, I have the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box, that one with the beautiful Arceus on front with the yellow uh, just sun floating in the background. Just had something in my eye. That was really weird. It just poked me right there. Anyway, we're moving forward. Um, and like I was saying, I think exclusivity is extraordinarily important, and they're much more rare than your standard elite trainer box. Um, you can get them right now for about $70 to $73 over on TCG Player, and I still think that is a very affordable price. MSRP for these was $50. Bucks. We have not seen additional waves come out of the other exclusive ETBs. So like Fusion Strike and Evolving Skies, when those Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs came out, they had like one, two, or three, but that was while the set was, was available, right? Once we get into Astral Radiance, I do not expect Pokemon Center to put out more Brilliant Stars exclusive ETBs because they're gonna be focusing on that Astral Radiance exclusive ETB. 
So now is the time to buy them because I guarantee you as soon as Astro Radiance comes out and as soon as people start focusing on that and maybe they set after that and Brilliant Stars gets pushed farther down the road, the Pokemon Center exclusives are just going to be not available anywhere except for third-party seller platforms like this and they're going to go up in price. This is actually even a very, very quick play compared to other products. These exclusive ETBs are going to go up faster than uh, booster boxes, building battle stadiums, other things I've listed uh, listed here uh, today. And it's going to be insane, guys. So I would be loading up on these exclusive ETBs, even if you're paying a good $15 to $20 over regular MSRP right now. And once the Astro Radiance pre-order goes up, I would try to get as many of those as possible if you're looking to build a good sealed collection. We are here, guys, in that gold position here for the number one product that you want to collect for Brilliant Stars if you want to build an amazing sealed collection that will go up in value. And I'm actually going to be near, I'm going to be widening this one here a little bit, but I do have one exclusive spot, and that is a booster box sealed case of six. So if you don't know, booster boxes, when you get them from a distributor, come in a case of six. They come in a nice long box, and they're boom, 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 right? There's six of them right in there. And you can actually get them sealed from the factory. If you get a case, like if a, if a seller or a hobby store gets a case of Brilliant Stars booster boxes, they will come in that long factory sealed box. And they will sell you a full case. You can even go get them over on TCG Player right now. And they're often readily available on eBay. A sealed case for Brilliant Stars right now goes for in between like $790 and $820. So it's really just doing like six regular priced booster boxes and actually even a little bit cheaper than that. So when buying a full case, you can usually save about like five or $10 um, per box, depending on who you buy it from uh, and stuff like that. So, but what I really like about sealed case products, cause you can do the same thing for elite trainer boxes, collection boxes, all that stuff. Like you can get a factory sealed case of Arceus V figure boxes, a factory sealed case of ETBs and build and battle stadiums. That is the number one way to build a sealed collection when you're looking in terms of investment. Because another thing I like about it is it adds a level of protection, right? Now, we just had that whole Logan Paul saga with all the sealed base set case and stuff. Um, it'll be significantly easier to look at these sealed cases of modern product and kind of know what we're looking at. Um, but it gives another level of protection for your buyer, than let's say repackaging or resealing one booster box. It takes significantly more for somebody to reseal or fake six booster boxes inside of a case. We know it happens, but I mean that I mean that was like an extreme case right there. But like having the factory sealed case on it and the the tape and the logo and the stickers and all that, it really, really helps increase the value down the road than just, let's say, six individual sealed booster boxes. It's going to add a premium. Uh, it's going to add a premium to that price, like for sure. So anytime you can get sealed cases of any of the products, specifically booster boxes, I think is the number one way to go. All right, guys, that's it. That is the end of today's video. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate every single one of you. We do have a giveaway going on here that you're going to get those entry details here in just a moment. But if you're new to the channel, guys, drop us up and smash that like button. It really, really helps out. And just a reminder, every single Friday here on TCG Funnels YouTube channel, we live stream pack openings over 15 16 different options over on tcgfunhouse.com you can buy into the break friday 9 p.m est we are here hanging and banging with you guys the streams are so much fun so please guys come hang out with us on fridays i hope to see you there but you know what i guess you guys have waited long enough for those entry details here they are right now thank you guys so much for staying around to the end of today's video to get your entry details for the month of april here on tcg funhouse that's right Boom! Two winners for the month of April. Every quarter, I like to do a giveaway where I give multiple subscribers a chance to win instead of just one. And in April, we're doing two Brilliant Stars Build and Battle Kits, guys. That's amazing. Four booster packs inside plus a stamped promo. All you have to do, guys, is make sure you are a subscriber here on the TCG Funhouse YouTube channel. Smash that like button on this video and leave a comment below. 
anything you want to comment, whether I ask you a question in the video, what you thought of the video, anything. I reply to as many comments as I can, and I make sure I heart as many comments as I can as well. But that's all that you guys have to do to get your entries for this month, and you can get an entry every single video. See you there.